Welcome to Electro Online and now for the hard part. It's finding the intensity anywhere inside this diffraction pattern for any interference pattern. In this case we have a two slit interference pattern. The slits are 0.5 millimeters apart. The slit width of each one is 0.1 millimeters. So you get a diffraction pattern from the slits and interference pattern for the fact that there's two of them. Combined they will give you an intensity pattern which is which is shown right here. This is of course the envelope of the interference of the diffraction pattern. This is the fringes of interference pattern which are reduced in intensity by the diffraction. To find the intensity at any location, you take the intensity of the central maximum, which for two slits is equal to four times the intensity of a single beam, times the fraction here that's caused by the interference and the fraction here that's caused by the diffraction. So here we're going to find the intensity at the location 0.22 centimeters or 2.2 millimeters away from the central maximum. Now on this pattern I'm not exactly sure where that is but somewhere up here we need to find the interference we want to find the intensity of that pattern which means we want to find the phase difference for the interference and the phase difference for the diffraction. The phase difference for the diffraction can be found right here by finding phi to be equal to whichever equation you want to use that's most practical and to find the, the phase difference for the diffraction again use a similar equation the only difference between the two is that we take the, the distance between the slits here and we take the slit width to find the uh, phase difference for the diffraction so here we have the two equations let's plug in the numbers and see what we get so here for D that's the distance between the slits which is 0 0.0005 meters times y which we said was 0.22 centimeters which is 0 0.022 meters uh, nope nope one more zero because it's less than a centimeter so that would be 0 0.022 meters divided by the wavelength which would be 500 nanometers 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters and then finally the, the distance between the screen and the slits which would be 2 meters and that will give us the oh, times of course 360 degrees 360 degrees and that will give us the phase difference for the interference pattern alright so we got 0 0.0005 times 0 0.0022 uh, divided by 500 e to the 9 minus and divide by 2 equals and then we multiply that times 360 degrees times 360 and we get 396 degrees 396 degrees which is the same as 360 minus that or 36 degrees all right that means we went to one complete phase so we went like this down so we should be up here somewhere so pretty close to where the arrow shows us all right now the phase difference for the diffraction pattern that's equal to 0 0.0001 meter times everything else the same 0 0.0022 meters divided by 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters times <coughs> the length 2 meters or the distance to the screen times 2 pi now notice that here I'm going to convert it to radians because after all we need radians in the denominator right there okay so what's that equal to 0 0.0001 times 0 0.0022 divided by 500 e to the 9 minus and divided by 2 and we get 0 0.22 let me just write that down 0 0.22 times 2 pi which is equal to 0 0.44 pi okay converting that to degrees we go times 180 divided by pi that's the correct conversion for going to degrees so we go 0.44 times 180 and we get 79.2 degrees okay so now that we have the phase angles of the phase angle for the interference pattern and the phase angle for the diffraction pattern we're now ready to calculate the intensity of that particular location okay now what we're going to do here is we need to use this equation right here but we need to make one correction if we don't use one of the maximum interference pattern but some place in between we need to replace this ICM by I sub naught 
this would be the intensity of a single beam multiplied by this. This will give us a maximum of a 4 when we have one of the peaks of the interference patterns and less than 4 when we have something in between, all the way down to 0 for a minimum. So when we do that, we get the following. We get I sub naught times the sine of n. n, of course, there's two, there's two um, slits. So we have 2 times the phase difference, which is 36 degrees, divided by 2. So that's 2 divided by 2 times 36 degrees. And divide this by the sine of 36 degrees divided by 2. And the whole thing has to be squared. So that will, give us the that will give us the intensity of the interference pattern. Now we have to multiply that times the intensity of the diffraction pattern, which is determined by this number right here. So that would be the sine of the phase difference for the diffraction pattern, which is beta, which is equal to 79.2 degrees. So we have 79.2 degrees divided by 2, divided by, and that's why I put it in terms of, of um, radians as well, because we want radians in the denominator. So that would be 0 0.44 pi divided by 2, and the whole thing squared. OK, so now we're ready to go ahead and calculate that. So let's calculate these. Separately, so this would be I sub naught times 36. Oh, I'm going to need my glasses here, be able to see a little bit better in this light. So we have 36, take the sign of that. Um, divide by 18, take the sign of that. And square that number. So we get 3.618, 3.618. And that would be instead of the 4 from the I sub naught. And then we multiply that times the following quantity. So it would be, what's 79.2 divided by 2? That's 39.6. Take the sine of that. We multiply it times 2. Divide by 4 and divide by, oh, no. Let me try that again. Uh, that would be 39.6. Take the sine of that times 2. Divide by 0.44, divide by pi equals, and then we square that, we get 0 0.8506. If you want to get a little bit more accurate like that. So now we have to multiply all that together, which means we multiply that together, we get that number times 3.618, and we get 3.618. 077 I sub naught. And that would be the intensity at a position of 0.22 centimeters away from the center maximum right there. And that's how we do that.